Hello, my name is Kuba Gjenda, and this is for Anthropology 301 at Portland State. One of our assignments this term was to read an additional ethnography on our own. The ethnography that I chose is Jewish Poland Revisited, Heritage Tourism in Unquiet Places by Erika T. Leher. I was drawn to this book not because I'm Jewish, because I'm not, but I am Polish, and I wanted to contrast my experiences hearing kind of the jokes my cousins told at Jewish people's expense and the kind of general air of disdain that my family and my family friends back home in Poland had with Jewish people and compare and contrast that with a real anthropological ethnogra ethnography and study. My observations were not at all professional, and it became obvious after looking th through this book and Lur's work that they were in the minority of instances. What she found was a growing sense of connection um, historically and in current times with the Jewish community in Poland and the non-Jewish Poles. Now, Polish is, Poland is a very very Catholic country. I think in the last survey that the World Bank did in 2012, Poland was about 96 to 97 percent self-reported Catholic. Now that is a huge number and I can definitely see why people of Jewish descent would not feel comfortable living there, especially with the events of the Holocaust and the resulting anti-Semitic propaganda that both the Germans and Russians indulged in after Poland was taken over during World War and after World War II. But again, Dr. Lehr says that the hate that has happened more recently in history has not been enough to overcome the much longer time period of cooperation and respect that occurred for many, many decades in the lands around Poland and what became Poland as well. Now, the biggest thing that I noticed as a difference between Jewish Poland Revisited and the ethnographies that we were assigned in class, especially the earlier ones, Lazadonga and the work of E.P., was that Jewish Poland Revisited goes a lot more in-depth and it's a lot more not thought out, but it tackles more complicated issues in a more adroit way. And I think that stems from the idea that Polish and Jewish culture is much closer to American culture than the other ethnographies that we've examined, at least most of them. I think that allows Dr. Leher to look into Polish and Jewish cultures and how they connect on a much deeper level. That's not to say that I think that people from one culture should not try to study, understand, and emphasize with people from drastically different cultures. I think Laza Dunga is a very valuable work to the field of, of ethnography, and I really enjoyed reading it. But it also kind of opened my eyes to the idea that if someone that she were to study, someone that grew up and understood the, the bigger intricacies of their society, were to do the ethnography of their own society instead and do so in a way that they were able to convey all of these tiny, minute little differences about how much of a more powerful and complicated ethnography that would be. I think that it's this strength as an almost insider that Lair has that allows her to so skillfully examine how Poles and Jews use the same spaces to understand each other and their own heritage more clearly because Polish and Jewish history is so closely tied together in Poland and it's not about the atrocities that have happened in the recent past but it's this empathy that has grown over generations and generations 
and it's still there today. And that's the idea that Lair really is pushing in her ethnography. That though a lot has happened, Poles and Jews are still two groups of people that are tied together, that see eye to eye on many different events, and together they are trying to build a better society for the Poles and the Jewish Poles and the Polish Jews that all live in Poland right now. My name is Kubik Jenda for Anthropology 301 at Portland State. The book that I read was Jewish Poland Revisited, Heritage Tourism in Unquiet Places by Erika T. Lair. I really enjoyed it as both someone from Poland and someone interested in ethnographies. If you are at all interested in Polish or Jewish culture or where they intersect, I would definitely recommend this. It's well written, it's entertaining, and it does a great job of mixing personal stories with a overlying narrative that ties two different but similar cultures together.